I'm meteorologist Melissa Noor with the 11 Alive Storm Trackers. NOAA released today its winter outlook for the upcoming winter season, December, January and February of winter 22 to 23. Now what drives the winter outlook every year is what phase of ENSO we're in, the El Nino Southern Oscillation. Now on one hand you have the positive phase, which is El Nino. The other hand you have the negative phase, which is La Nina. And in the middle, and so neutral conditions, we have what we call Lanada. So that's the neutral phase of that pendulum swing that goes back and forth with our sea surface temperatures. But this winter will be another La Nina, they are predicting, saying that there's a 75% chance we're going to have La Nina conditions into the winter. Well, what does that mean? That means that typically the more active storm track or jet stream brings wetter conditions to the Pacific Northwest and then stays north of our area, traveling through the mid-Atlantic and into the northeast. So in terms of the southeast, North Georgia, we tend to see drier conditions and warmer conditions. Now this is actually going to be our third La Nina in a row. This third La Nina having three in a row for winter seasons has only happened twice before. Once back in the mid 70s, once back at the turn of the century from 1998 and 99 to the winter of 2000 and 2001. But with La Nina driving the forecast, their outlook for the, those three months, December, January and February, calls for likely above average temperatures across North Georgia. That's of course no surprise. And here's their official precipitation outlook for those three months. Also aligning with what we tend to see in La Nina winters, you notice slightly below average precipitation. Now we do need rain. We have drought that has been expanding and even worsening across parts of North Georgia. They do say in their outlook that they do think that drought is going to continue, if not worsen, as we head throughout the winter months. Does that mean that we won't see any snow? Not necessarily. It just means that we'll probably see, on average, those whole months combined, warmer and drier conditions than average.